What inspired me to um, be an advocate and a voice for change was because of the, the death of my daughter that has a, um, she had a disability. She was not, um, she didn't know how to say, hey, I got shortness of breath. And that was one of the symptoms that she had. Um, and I took her within a whole week back and forth to the emergency room um, every day. And, you know, they kept saying nothing was wrong. Um, and so it inspired me to want to um, help others that has a disability. In the way that it happened, um, I believe that, you know, um, if some things were different um, in our healthcare system at the emergency room and with the um, EMS, um, you know, things, she would still be here today. I, I believe that, um, you know, because it's system, systematically embedded into our everyday to day lives, um, you know, it caused, you know, some bias um, standpoints. Um, when I took my daughter to the emergency room, um, she had a disability. Um, also, you know, um, African American woman and having Medicaid insurance. I believe that, you know, the care for her, um, the care that she received was not, um, you know, the care that she needed. I started a petition online um, for others, and there were so many people from different ethnicities that signed and shared the petition and was ready to jump in and be, you know, show their love and support in what happened with my daughter. Everyone saw the need to um, take action and, and help out and, and share, you know, sign the petition and share um, to make a change for people that has a disability. And hopefully, you know, um, no child will have to, someone that has a disability will have to endure the pain that my daughter, she did within a week, you know, time and not getting the care she need. And for any other parents to endure the pain that I had to um, with losing my daughter in the way that, you know, I did. I think that, you know, you know, it could be, you know, some things um, that change far as with the, the healthcare system um, to make it better and a better communication between, or higher communication between the doctors and a patient that has a disability that is nonverbal or not able to explain exactly what's going on with them. Far as for me being an advocate, I'm gonna do everything I can to my ability um, to help others and make sure that some laws can be changed. Um, and also, um, you know, every person that has any type of different walks of life can be helped um, by my daughter's story and people that has, you know, other people that had the disability can be inspired and um, wanting to help make a change as well because of my daughter's story.